Our Earth, this wonderful watery planet, is home to all known life. We are completely dependent on water. The human body is two-thirds water, and we need to replenish that water daily. Problem is, our on-the-go lifestyles have created a dilemma. Torontonians are addicted to plastic water bottles. We use about 100 million water bottles every year right here in Toronto, and that didn't sit well with us. Lake Ontario is steps away from our school. We are lucky to have such a beautiful marine habitat right in our backyard. Class trips, swimming in the summer, walks on the boardwalk, it's where our drinking water comes from. But when we began to take a closer look, we found out that a recent scientific study found there were over 1.1 million particles of microplastic per square kilometer in some parts of the lake. We knew we wanted to do everything we could to protect our resource. We started to investigate. We learned that just to produce plastic water bottles, large amounts of oil and energy are required, creating lots of CO2. To produce plastic bottles, it takes 17 million barrels of oil a year and takes three times as much water to make the bottle as it does to fill it. That much oil could fill one million cars for a year. This left us shocked. Nobody in our class actually knew what was in their water bottle. There is a certain chemical found in plastic water bottles called BPA and is proven to be hazardous to the health of humans. Some effects include cancer, neurological difficulties, early puberty, reduced fertility, and defects in newborn babies. But plastic water bottles don't only affect humans, they also have a negative effect on all life. Since plastic bottles and bottle caps are so often not recycled, they regularly end up at the bottom of our lakes and oceans. As the plastic starts to break down, creatures then mistake the plastic particles for food. Toxins found in the plastics are harming the creatures that are consuming them. If the harm happening to the creatures we share the planet with doesn't compel you, think about the fact that we then eat these creatures. We don't yet know the full extent of the harm this is causing to humans. Hey, check out that huge bird in that rock over there. Oh gosh, it looks like it's choking on, choking on bottle, bottle caps. caps. I do believe that this bird has been trying to eat bottle caps left from behind from people's water bottles. Yeah, well, it's the bird's own fault for eating the bottle caps. I mean, who does that? Jeez, look at you. You're drinking water from a plastic bottle. Bo wa bottle. Drinking water from plastic bottles is bad. <coughs> Yeah, well, how else do you drink water on the go? You fill up a reusable water bottle instead. Fine, you're so freaked out. Ah! <laughs> what did you just do? This is how it all begins. All right, then. Where does it go? Are you for real? The recycling. And how exactly can you make me do this? Because if nobody recycles, then our entire planet would rip apart. Our galaxy would will crumble within. What? If I don't. If no one recycles, then all of our recyclables will pile up in a landfill somewhere, taking up much needed space. That will create CO2 and global warming that will melt the ice caps and kill all the animals living there. The world will be boiling hot and we would all flood. Soon the weather would be all messed up and people would be turn into zombies. And then? Dead. We all die. Ah, there, I saved the entire news from, universe from landfills, floods, CO2, whatever, global heating, and zombies. What do I win? What you win is a better planet. And you're not the only one who can save the entire universe. Everyone needs to help out too. And make a change. Please re rescue us and use reusable water bottles. Help spread the word after this cheesy animation is done. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. Bye. Bye. And hurry, because time is almost up. <laughs> Okay, so it might not lead to a zombie apocalypse, but plastic serves as a big threat to humans and the environment that we share. So we set out to change people's minds about tap water. We conducted an experiment in our school to see what people thought about tap water. We set out three different types of water, filtered, tap, and bottled. We didn't tell our testers which was which, and we asked them to taste all three and tell us which water they thought was the best. Out of 50 people 
74% chose tap water as one with the best taste, and only 10% chose the plastic bottled water. Not only that, but some people said that the bottled water was metallic tasting or just plain gross. Everyone was shocked when we told them what each type of water was. They said that they were expecting the tap water to be dirty. The experiment made everyone rethink what they thought about tap water. After we had gathered all the information that we needed, our class wanted to spread the word around our school. We made posters to put up all around the school to encourage people to bring their own reusable water bottles. Two cheer here from Project Reusable Revolution. Back to challenge you this time. We also wrote announcements to read over the school PA system to teach students some things that they didn't know about plastic water bottles. It was important to make sure everyone knew what was inside their water. Even though we had posters and announcements, it still wasn't enough. We wanted to make a more lasting impact. After doing some research, we found our solution, Project Reusable Revolution. We would attempt to obtain a bottle refill station for our school. A bottle filling station is exactly what it sounds like. The device can be installed to replace a water fountain. It allows anyone to refill the reusable water bottle whenever and as often as they like. So we wrote a letter to our principal with our idea to bring one of these filling stations into our school. Dear students of Room 202, thank you for your letter outlining your inquiry into how water bottles affect Canada. We received a letter back the next day. Our principal thought our idea was great and she gave us the application in order to have a filling station. We learned that successful applicants will be contacted as early as December 2016. What was once a small idea in a small classroom turned into a Duke of Connaught phenomenon. To stay in touch and fi find out if the water station will be installed into a school, follow us at Instagram and Twitter. If you are using a reusable water bottle, share it with us. Post on Instagram or Twitter using the hashtag project reusable revolution.